The issue detail is similar to the EPIC detail, but with some additional capabilities, as this is where most of the work takes place. Let's dive into the issue detail view. Within the issue, you can add a time estimate by using the estimate quick action. GitLab will update the estimate as you work on this issue. Let's say you want to spend another two hours on work tasks. The time tracking gets reported here. You can also set an issue's labels and weight, mark its health status, and make it confidential. Within the issue detail view, you can link issues to better manage your dependencies. GitLab also has a design manager where you can upload designs directly from your desktop. Each time you add an image file to update the design, GitLab creates a new version for each design. By adding a Figma plugin, you're also able to push designs directly to issues from within Figma. This way, designers don't have to open GitLab in order to push their designs up to collaborate. When viewing a design, you're also able to drop pins and comments on different items. Mentioning people in the comments creates a to-do list for them. This is a great way to collaborate with team members in GitLab. If you mention yourself in this conversation, you can go to your to-do list here, which tells you that a comment was added. You can track directly from your to-do list back into design and interact with other team members. Once you've made changes, the button gets resolved in a different design that gets pushed up. You can also resolve the comment when it's complete. This is a great way to integrate and collaborate on design between engineering products, UI, and UX early on in the process, before you get to implementation. Similar to Epics, you have your audit history and the ability to have threaded conversations. You can upvote, downvote, or add emoji rewards. From your list view of issues, you can sort your issues by popularity and other factors. You can also sort using manual mode, or you can sort by milestone due date, by weights, or by the number of blocking issues. Now we can see that create account form is blocking two other issues from moving forward. We can see that this is blocked by add support for post slash user. GitLab allows you an ideal way to do dependency management within the issue tracker. Wow.